Blog Talk Radio. Warning, the following material may not be suitable for all audiences. Please listen responsibly. The wording is as follows. Houston, this is Discovery. We still have the alien spacecraft under observance. Welcome to UFONOT Radio with your host, Jesse Randolph. The risky business of disclosure. Yes, I'm certainly ready. That's right, saucer heads. Welcome to another Sunday spectacular evening here to Euphonaut Radio. I am your host, Jesse Randolph. And as always, I want to thank you for your support and for tuning in tonight to a very special evening. Another Euphonaut International two-hour special for you on a Sunday evening, commercial-free. Might I just throw that in there? No one else does it, folks. We're the only ones. Keep it in mind. It's a live radio show. You hear all the b- 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 bumps and blunders that I have coming out of my mouth during this two-hour period. Anything goes. Guess what else? We don't screen callers. You might have, you may have heard in the past some interesting calls that have come through. And I'm telling you, this show is going to rock. I want to give a couple of shout-outs real quick. First, I want to give a shout-out to Providence, Rhode Island. I can't tell you the support we've had from some really talented, amazing people out there. You know who you are. So Providence in the house, thank you so much for your support. I also want to give a special shout-out to Jackal, a good friend of the show, Mr. Jackal. Got into a nasty, nasty car wreck this past week, and he's had a host of some personal things going on, and we want to say we love you here at the show. and. We love your support and when you participate. And what we want you to do tonight is try to relax and rest up, my friend, because we need you involved in tonight. Tonight is a big show, friends. We worked hard for this one. We don't normally do international shows, but with what's going on in the world in the past, I would say, three to three weeks, maybe past month, the moon. The moon is everywhere. You go. I'm surprised they don't have McDonald McDonald's Happy Meal moon packs or something, or moon hoax McDonald Happy Meals, or um, how about moon Slurpees or something? But that's about it. It's everywhere else, and everyone thinks maybe it's just the 40th anniversary. But I will tell you this: the moon hoax, whether you're a believer or whether you think it's absolutely ridiculous. I can't tell you, this brings up a lot of emotion in people, this subject. They get very passionate either way. People get very, very upset about this topic in both directions. So I said to Tim last week, look, we've got to put some people on hold here, and we've got to get a moon 
hoax specialist, not just some guy that goes on Larry King or floats on coast to coast once in a while. I'm talking about we have to get like the quintessential guy. I don't care where he is. And Tim was like, well, you know what? Let me see what I can do. And sure enough, he came through again. So a little, little back pat for Timmy there because he got the guy. So tonight, if you have questions about the moon, if you have questions about whether or not we went to the moon, I don't, I'm not going to tell you what I think. I've been getting that all week. Hey, Jess, what do you think? Did we go to the moon? Guess what? I don't know, okay? I happen to think a few things, and I, maybe I'll bring them up, a couple of questions that I have about the moon exploration that never get answered to my satisfaction. But no, I, I do not know if we went to the moon or not, to be honest with you. I haven't made up my mind, and I will leave that. We have the quintessential expert tonight. So don't let this opportunity slip away. Two hours commercial free. You are not going to get this anywhere else on the web, I promise you. We have Alejandro T. Rojas tonight from MUFON International. Nowhere else, folks. We got him here every week filling you in on what's going on out there. And we have a very special episode of what's in Tim's head this evening at the end of the program probably. Uh, permitting, time permitting, of course. So, that's what's going on. You can not radio if you're a newbie. Let's get this out of the way real quick. We exist to explore, report new happenings within ufology. That's the study of the stuff that's up there. Tilt your head up, people, and look up. And it's unidentified flying objects. That's ufology. It's not so weird, okay? Exopolitics, the study of possible political relations between humanity and extraterrestrial uh, civilizations. And we discuss publications, books, happenings, conferences. There's a huge conference going on right now in Spain that I'm really upset Tim didn't send me to. I would have loved to check that place out with my girl, but I guess it wasn't in the budget. So all you folks out there, if you haven't joined the Euphonaut Members Club yet, I really hope that you take a chance out of your busy schedule and join today. Now, that's what we do here. So the moon is our main focus tonight. I want you to take everything out of your head except the moon. Let's talk about the moon. It's this place we see all the time, but we don't really think about pretty much. We know we went to the moon in the 60s, right? These guys did all these missions, and they jumped through amazing hoops to get to the moon, to beat the Russians, the space race, blah 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 Let's fast forward 30 years. And, gee, do we ever talk about the moon? No. Why? That's a great question. Well, our expert's going to answer that tonight. So with that being said, please, let's put the cells on vibrate, people, just like in the movies, and open your minds and join us, and let's explore the moon tonight with a guy who was convinced that we didn't go. We did not go. We faked it, okay? We faked it. We did not go. That's what he says, okay? That's coming up. Now, let me take a quick moment here to tell you about the new Euphonaut Members Club at ufotv.com because there's been a couple of misconceptions that I want to clear up. Now, a lot of you love getting Euphonaut Radio via iTunes. I know that, and I've gotten emails about it this week. You're bummed out, blah, blah, blah. I've got you. We hear you. We don't just take suggestions and throw them out the window, okay? We're working on getting that iTunes up for you. So you can get episodes when you need them, and you can get them downloaded right into your iPod. If, until that happens, I don't see any reason why you would not join the Members Club at ufotv.com. It's loaded with features besides Euphonaut Radio. Uh, we, we like to say Euphonaut Radio is the candle on the cake for the Members section. You're talking about you get the forum, you get the two-hour downloadable episode commercial-free tonight. I mean, that's a ton of radio there without any silly interruptions. You get MP3 audio recordings of top UFO researchers, David Icke. Um, I know he, I think he's got a, is it a Timothy Good thing coming up? I, he's got in the forum, you find out Tim posts these new things. I don't even know. I can't keep track. How about the fact that he's got free magazines there? 
you go to the magazine section, you spend $6 on a magazine that you end up reading on the bathroom for about 10 minutes. Well, guess what? For the same price, you got a whole month of the member section where you're going to get multiple magazines you can download and read to your iPhone or whatever gadget you choose. Ebook downloads, top selling DVDs, special discounts, and new content every week. It's a fantastic, fantastic deal. So check out ufotv.com today. Please join the members club. Like I said, if you listen to the live show, we're not doing anything different. You're going to get two-hour shows for free. But, folks, you would get so much more. Talk to the people who have joined already. They're having a great time downloading a ton of UFO content. If you're into ufology, this is the UFO club. Okay, now tonight's guest, are you ready? Are you ready, chat room? Yes, I know you will join eventually, some of you, and that's okay. We just want you to we want you to be a part of it because when you join, it's going to help us grow. And I will tell you this much: you know how much fun it is to listen live to this program and to be chatting away during the program. It's just it's another dimension, and it's why we haven't pushed the, to to get on the dial right now. Because Blog Talk Radio folks ask me all the time, "Why are you still on Blog Talk Radio? It's a free network." Because they offer some really cool functionality features that you can't get on the dial. I don't know how many of you listen to four to six hours of Nori. Um, there's, there must, uh, but you know what? Do you have a chat room going on in the background? Uh, no, I don't when I listen. I don't, and we do. So that's why we're here. It's stuff like that, and we love the chat room here. Keep chatting away there, folks. Tonight's guest, did we really go to the moon? Jarrah White says no, and he can prove it. Jarrah White is a native of Sydney, Australia, who debunks the Apollo hoax debunkers, both in forums and through film, and has he's become a leading authority on deceptions perpetrated on the public by NASA. He has formal training in photography and has produced over 40 documentaries discussing Apollo moon landing hoax conspiracy theories. He is the contributing editor to moonmovie.com and moonhoax.us and was a friend of the late Ralph Rene, another well-known critic of NASA. Jared White is the creator of the acclaimed Moon Faker video series. His films also include Flagging the Gems and Apollo, a little gem. His Moon Faker series can be viewed on YouTube. Go there and check it out when you can. We're really pleased tonight and overwhelmed. I, I, we got the guy here, Jared White, down under show for you. It's going to be shocking. It's going to be alarming. Two hours of whether or not we went to the moon, folks, and we want you to participate. Another great show on a Sunday night here. It's hot as hell where I am. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating before we even get to the guest here. But with that in mind, why don't we get this truth journey rolling, shall we? and find out what's going on out there with our favorite news correspondent, Mr. Alejandro T. Rojas from MUFON, the Mutual UFO Network International. Don't go anywhere, folks, and take a breath. This is going to be a great two hours. <laughs> 